don't you think it's more likely, like, I think this is infinitely more likely, even though it's very difficult, especially now, but to remove all the settlements, just fuck all of them off, those scumbag freaks. I have to comment just kind of almost as an aside, but getting people to leave Israel, like 80% of the people in Israel are citizens who were born there. They don't have anywhere to go. This is a part of the fucking problem with this conversation that I have to explain to people. You, the, the Israelis cannot go back to Europe. <clears throat> There's literally nowhere else in the world for them to go. Give it back to the Palestinians and you can do these security assurances and the negotiations and all of that while Palestine has its own sovereign country. That's can, and, and like, I think in the original I, idea, I there was even going to be it. There was going to be that, a... that's more violent than a one state. Like you think Israel would would be able to successfully take out 471,000 uh, settlers living in the West Bank and also another 300,000, think... almost 300,000 more uh, plus living in in East Jerusalem as well, which is occupied, but now also permanently under Israeli rule. You think that integrating fully integrating the populations would be less violent? have to comment just kind of almost as an aside but getting people to leave israel you think that integrating fully integrating the populations would be less violent yes i don't i, do. I just dude there's no way this has happened time and time again it happened in the dissolution of the apartheid state it happened with the good friday agreement uh it, it, that ended the troubles and it will it, it always will happen because i believe that no matter how much we fight I think peaceful solutions are our natural state. We want to fucking coexist with one another. Like I mentioned, you know, Ireland or or the ANC and, and apartheid South Africa. These happen in our lifetime.